Good morning, everyone. My name is Joshua Torrance. I'm the executive director here at the Bennington Museum, and welcome to our Tour 10. We're really excited to be bringing these tours to you, and today we are uh, broadcasting from our center gallery. Of course, joining me at the Tours at 10 is one of the cohorts of this series, Jamie Franklin, curator at the Bennington Museum. Good morning and welcome. Uh, as we were thinking, I was thinking through this series and kind of um, things that we have here at the museum on viewer and storage that might people might be able to relate to particularly well during this time of pandemic when we're all shut in at our houses, spending time with our families. Um, we installed some new paintings in our center gallery this winter during our January shutdown. And um, I wanted to share them with you because um, they are about family, about spending time with your children. Um, and so uh, this is a painting by Milton Avery. It's on loan to us from the Milton Avery Foundation, who we've had a wonderful relationship with since we did Milton Avery in Vermont, the exhibition back in 2016. Um, the Averys came in summer here in southern Vermont, up in the Jamaica area. Um, which is just about a half an hour east of Manchester up in the mountains. Um, and they would come here during the summer months to enjoy, you know, the bucolic landscape um, and spend time in the streams and rivers um, frolicking and having fun. So this is a wonderful painting by Avery from 1936. Um, we don't know exactly who these people are, um, but the Averys had a young daughter at the time, March Avery. They had a number of friends that they had that came up and um, visited them in Jamaica, and they got to know many of the neighbors. Um, Meyer Shapiro, the famous art historian, who was may have been the reason why the Averys ended up coming up here. But here we have this wonderful picture of two women with a baby, kind of just enjoying their leisure during the summer months. And then also, um, back here on the other side of the wall, you know, it's sometimes um, a lot of what I do, I think very carefully about what I put on the wall and what I put in relationship to one another, but I've found oftentimes the greatest surprises and the best kind of juxtapositions are kind of accidental. And it wasn't until after I had installed that Avery and these two paintings by Francis Colburn that I realized we had this kind of theme of kind of family togetherness. Um, this is a painting by um, Francis Colburn. Colburn um, um, was born and grew up in Vermont. He was um, the, one of the main artists who worked for the um, um, Fine Arts Project of the Works Project Administration during um, the Great Depression, the New Deal era program, federal programs. Um, and this is called Family Group. It shows a kind of classic Vermont mountain family. Um, um, and I've always been struck by, you know, they're kind of serious. They have these kind of stony expressions on their faces. And yet the father has his arm kind of gently draped over his son's shoulder. And I always thought that Colburn was wonderful at conveying kind of the humanity and showing us that, you know, um, we're, we're all kind of um, um, part of the same, you know, world and, and even kind of stony um, farmers who are kind of trying to scrape together a living in the mountains of Vermont during the Great Depression can still express kind of love and gentleness um, within their family dynamics. Um, and then right over here, you can see it's, it's another painting by Francis Colburn. This painting, um, Family Group, was painted in about 1939 and not quite 10 years later in 1948, um, Colburn painted this other painting um, called Family with Hired Man, and it has the same basic composition. You can kind of see the house and silo with, which the artist has kind of combined um, together into this one architectural structure. Um, the, a similar looking family with the father arm draped over his son, um, the wife sitting in the rocking chair beside them. But you can also see the hired man looking out from behind the silo. And you can see the development of Francis Colburn's kind of style. He goes from the realist style of the earlier painting to this kind of pseudo-cubist style. I like to call this Francis Colburn's bobblehead period um, with these large kind of expressive faces. But again, just this idea of family togetherness as we're all um, sitting at home, we're learning to homeschool, we're learning to get along with our families that we're not necessarily used to being in contact with 24 hours a day. And I just thought these three paintings really expressed that idea of family family togetherness during this period when we're all learning to adjust to our new world.
Thank you, Jamie, for bringing us that great message on these strange days of pandemic. It is by sticking together, uh, sticking together as a community, sticking together as a nation, and sticking together as a world, coming together as a world, that we're going to get through this. That definitely all starts uh, in your own home with your family. Please take time to show your family how much you love them. Reach out to friends and neighbors. This is a great time to remember and to remind ourselves that we are all connected. Thanks so much for joining us at these tours at 10. Like other organizations and businesses, the Bennington Museum is uh, feeling the economic pinch from this pandemic. If you feel so inclined, we encourage you to go onto our website where you can make a donation, you can become a member, you could buy a membership for a friend or family member. Uh, you can also support us by liking these videos and sharing them out into the world. Thanks so much for joining us at Tours at 10. We look forward to seeing you next time. And more importantly, we can't wait and we look forward to seeing you back here at the Bennington Museum in person. Be well, be safe, and stay strong.